Fokker was a Dutch aircraft manufacturer named after its founder, Antony Fokker. The company operated under several different names, starting out in 1912 in Schuren, Germany, moving to the Netherlands in 1919. During its most successful period in the 1920s and 1930s, it dominated the civil aviation market. Fokker went into bankruptcy in 1996, and its operations were sold to competitors. History Fokker in Germany, at age 20, Antony Fokker, while studying in Germany built his initial aircraft, the Spina Euro the first Dutch-built plane to fly in his home country. Taking advantage of better opportunities in Germany, he moved to Berlin where, in 1912, he founded his first company, Fokker Aeroplan Bau, later moving to the Gar Paragraph RRIES suburb just southwest of Schuren, where the current company was founded, as Fokker Aviatik GmbH, on February 12, 1912. World War I Fokker capitalized on having sold several Fokker spin monoplanes to the German government and set up a factory in Germany to supply the German army. His first new design for the Germans to be produced in any numbers was the Fokker M5, which was little more than a copy of the Marine Solnia G, built with steel tube instead of wood for the fuselage, and with minor alterations to the outline of the rudder and undercarriage and a new aerofoil section. When it was realized that it was desirable to arm these scouts with a machine gun firing through the propeller, Fokker developed a synchronization gear similar to that patented by Franz Schneider. Fitted with a developed version of this gear, the M5 became the Fokker Ian Decker which, due to its revolutionary armament, became one of the most feared aircraft over the Western Front, its introduction leading to a period of German air superiority known as the Fokker Scourge until the balance was restored by aircraft such as the Neuport 11 and Airco DH2. During World War I, Fokker engineers were working on the Fokker Leonberger an externally powered 12-barrel Gatling gun in the 7.92 X57 M round capable of firing over 7200 RPMs. Later during the war, the German government forced Fokker and Junkers to cooperate more closely, which resulted in the foundation of the Junkers Fokker Aktien Gesellschaft on October 20, 1917. As this partnership proved to be troublesome, it was eventually dissolved again. By then, designer Reynold Platz had adapted some of Junker's design concepts, what resulted in a visual similarity between the aircraft of those two manufacturers during the next decade. Some of the noteworthy types produced by Fokker during the second half of the war included the Fokker DVI, Fokker Dr. Idria Decker, Fokker Divri and the Fokker Divil. Return to the Netherlands, in 1919, Fokker, owing large sums in back taxes, returned to the Netherlands and founded a new company near Amsterdam with the support of Sten Kolen Handels Very Nijging, now known as SHV Holdings. He chose the name Nederlands Vlieg Tuigen Fabriek to conceal the Fokker brand because of his WWI involvement. Despite the strict disarmament conditions in the Treaty of Versailles, Fokker did not return home empty-handed. In 1919 he arranged an export permit and brought six entire trains of parts and 180 types of aircraft across the Dutch-German border, among them 117 Fokker CIs, Divas and Divas. This initial stock enabled him to set up shop quickly. After his company's relocation, many Fokker CI and CIV military airplanes were delivered to Russia, Romania and the still clandestine German Air Force. Success came on the commercial market too, with the development of the Fokker F3, a high-winged aircraft capable of taking on various types of engines. Fokker continued to design and build military aircraft, delivering planes to the Dutch Air Force. Foreign military customers eventually included Finland, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, Switzerland, Hungary, and Italy. These countries bought substantial numbers of the Fokker CV reconnaissance aircraft which became Fokker's main success in the latter part of the 1920s and early 1930s. 1920s and 30s, Fokker's glory period. In the 1920s, Fokker entered its glory years, becoming the world's largest aircraft manufacturer by the late 1920s. Its greatest success was the FIR-3M Tremotor passenger aircraft, 
which was used by 54 airline companies worldwide and captured 40% of the American market in 1936. It shared the European market with the Junkers all-metal aircraft but dominated the American market until the arrival of the Ford Tremotor which copied the aerodynamic features of the Fokker f and Junkers structural concepts. A serious blow to Fokker's reputation came after the TWA Flight 599 disaster in Kansas, when it became known that the crash was caused by a structural failure caused by wood rot. Notre Dame legendary football coach Newt Rotten was among the fatalities, prompting extensive media coverage and technical investigation. As a result all Fokkers were grounded in the USA, along with many other types that had copied Fokkers' wings. In 1923 Anthony Fokker moved to the United States, where he established an American branch of his company, the Atlantic Aircraft Corporation in 1927 being renamed Fokker Aircraft Corporation of America. In 1930 this company merged with General Motors Corporation and the company's new name would be General Aviation Manufacturing Corporation. A year later, discontented at being totally subordinate to GM management, Fokker resigned. On December 23, 1939, Anthony Fokker died in New York City. World War II at the outset of World War II, the few G1s and DXXIS of the Dutch Air Force were able to score a respectable number of victories against the Luftwaffe but many were destroyed on the ground before they could be used. The Fokker factories were confiscated by the Germans and were used to build Bar 1 Quarter CKER Bar 1 Quarter 181 Best Man Trainers and parts for the Junkers Ju 52 transport. At the end of the war, the factories were completely stripped by the Germans and destroyed by Allied bombing. Post-World War II Rebuilding Rebuilding after the war proved difficult. The market was flooded with cheap surplus aeroplanes from the war. The company cautiously started building gliders and autobuses and converting Dakota transport planes to civilian versions. A few F-25s were built. Nevertheless, the S-11 trainer was a success being purchased by several air forces. The S-14 MC trainer became one of the first jet trainers, and although not an export success, it served for over a decade with the Royal Netherlands Air Force. A new factory was built next to Schiphol Airport near Amsterdam in 1951. A number of military planes were built there under license, among them the Gloucester Meteor Twin Jet Fighter and Lockheed's F-104 Starfighter. A second production and maintenance facility was established at Wormsdrecht. In 1958 the F-27 Friendship was introduced, Fokker's most successful post-war airliner. The Dutch government contributed 27 million guilders to its development. Powered by the Rolls-Royce Dart, it became the world's best-selling turboprop airliner, reaching almost 800 units sold by 1986, including 206 under license by Fairchild. There is also a military version of the F-27, the F-27 troopship. In 1962, the F-27 was followed by the F-28 fellowship. Until production stopped in 1987, a total of 241 were built in various versions. Both an F-27 and later an F-28 served with the Dutch Royal Flight, Prince Bernhard himself being a pilot. In 1969, Fokker agreed to an alliance with Bremen-based Vereinigte Flugtechnische Worker under control of a transnational holding company. They collaborated on an unsuccessful regional jetliner, the VFW-614, of which only 19 were sold. This collaboration ended in early 1980. Fokker was one of the main partners in the F-16 Fighting Falcon Consortium, which was responsible for the production of these fighters for the Belgian, Danish, Dutch and Norwegian Air Forces. It consisted of companies and government agencies from these four countries and the United States. F-16s were assembled at Fokker and at SABCA in Belgium with parts from the five countries involved. Aerospace, in 1967, Fokker started a modest space division building parts for European satellites. A major advance came in 1968 when Fokker developed the first Dutch satellite together with Philips and Dutch universities. This was followed by a second major satellite project, IRAS, successfully launched in 1983. 
the European Space Agency in June 1974 named a consortium headed by ERNO VFW Fokker GmbH to build pressurized modules for Space Lab. Subsequently, Fokker contributed to many European satellite projects, as well as to the Ariane rocket in its various models. Together with a Russian contractor, they developed the huge parachute system for the Ariane 5 rocket boosters which would allow the boosters to return to Earth safely and be reused. The space division became more and more independent until, just before Fokker's bankruptcy in 1996, it became a fully standalone corporation, known successively as Fokker Space and Systems, Fokker Space, and Dutch Space. On January 1, 2006, it was taken over by EADS Space Transportation. Fokker 50, Fokker 100, and Fokker 70. After a brief and unsuccessful collaboration effort with McDonnell Douglas in 1981, Fokker began an ambitious project to develop two new aircraft concurrently. The Fokker 50 was to be a completely modernized version of the F-27, the Fokker 100 a new airliner based on the F-28. Yet development costs were allowed to spiral out of control, almost forcing Fokker out of business in 1987. The Dutch government bailed them out with 212 million guilders but demanded Fokker look for a strategic partner, British Aerospace and DASA being named most likely candidates. Initial sales of the Fokker 100 were good, leading Fokker to begin development of the Fokker 70, a smaller version of the F-100, in 1991. But sales of the F-70 were below expectations and the F-100 had strong competition from Boeing and Airbus by then. In 1992, after a long and arduous negotiation process, Fokker signed an agreement with DASA. This did not however solve Fokker's problems, mostly because DASA's parent company Daimler-Benz also had to deal with its own organizational problems. Bankruptcy, on January 22, 1996, the board of directors of Daimler-Benz decided to focus on its core automobile business and cut ties with Fokker. The next day an Amsterdam court extended temporary credit of protection. On March 15 the Fokker company was declared bankrupt. Those divisions of the company that manufactured parts and carried out maintenance and repair work were taken over by Stork NV. It is now known as Stork Aerospace Group. Stork Fokker exists to sustain remarketing of the company's existing aircraft, they refurbish and resell F-50S and F-100S and converted a few F-50s to transport aircraft. Special projects included the development of an F-50 maritime patrol variant and an F-100 executive jet. For this project, Stork received the 2005 Aerospace Industry Award in the Air Transport category from Flight International magazine. Other divisions of the company that were profitable, continued as separate companies, like Fokker Space and Fokker Control Systems. In November 2009, Stork Aerospace changed its name to Fokker Aerospace Group. As of 2011, the Fokker Aerospace Group changed its name to Fokker Technologies. The five individual business units within Fokker Technologies all carry the Fokker name, Fokker Aerostructures, Fokker Landing Gear, Fokker Elmo, Fokker Aircraft Services, Fokker Services, the former Fokker aircraft facilities at Schiphol were redeveloped into the Fokker Logistics Park. One of the former Fokker tenants is Fokker Services. Meanwhile, Wreck of Aircraft is attempting to restart production of the Fokker XF-70 and XF-100, supported by suppliers and airlines. Famous Fokker Aircraft and Pilots In 1915, the Fokker EI was the first fighter introduced in the German Air Force leading to the Fokker scourge. Manfred von Richthofen is associated with an all-red Fokker Dr. I triplane, at least for some of his 80 victories. The introduction of the Fokker Devery into the German Air Force in 1918 revolutionized aircraft design. In 1923, Oakley George Kelly and John Arthur McCready completed the first non-stop flight spanning the North American continent in a Fokker T2 variant of Fokker FIV. In 1927, Richard E. Byrd completed his transatlantic flight from New York City to Paris in a Fokker F3. In 1928, Amelia Earhart, the first woman to fly across the Atlantic as a passenger did so in a Fokker F3 piloted by Wilmer L. Stultz. In 1928, 
Charles Kingsford Smith completed the first Trans-Pacific flight in another F3. The Fokker S-14 McTrainer was one of the first purpose-built jet training aircraft in the world. The United States Army parachute team jumped from an F-27, Fokker aircraft, 1912 a Euro 1918, Fokker Spin, Fokker M1, M4 Spin, Fokker W1, W2, Fokker AA, Fokker AII, Fokker M6, Fokker BI, Fokker W3, Fokker AI, Fokker M9, Fokker BII, Fokker Indeca Fighters, Fokker EI, Fokker EII, Fokker E, Fokker EIV, Fokker M16E and M16Z, Fokker BII, Fokker BE, Fokker DI, Fokker DII, Fokker D, Fokker DIV, Fokker DV, Fokker V1, Fokker V2 and V3, Fokker V4, Fokker FI, Fokker Doctor of Fokker V6, Fokker V7, Fokker V8, Fokker V9, V11, V12, V13, V14, and V16, Fokker DVI, Fokker Divri, Fokker V17, V25, Fokker EV Diva, Fokker V27, V37, Fokker CI, Fokker V39, 1919 a Euro 1940, Fokker V39, Fokker V42, Fokker CI. Fokker F6, Fokker FII, Fokker FE, Fokker FIV, Fokker TII, Fokker SI, Fokker DIX, Fokker DX, Fokker SII, Fokker BI, Fokker CIV, Fokker FE, Fokker SE, Fokker DZI, Fokker DCI, Fokker T, Fokker BII, Fokker F3, Fokker CV, Fokker DXI, Fokker DXI, Fokker SIV, Fokker DZIV, Fokker BE, Fokker FV, Fokker TIV, TIVA, Fokker Sivri W, Fokker FZI Universal, Fokker FZIV, Fokker DXVI, Fokker FIX, Fokker CV, Fokker CIX, Fokker FXI, Fokker DXVII, Fokker FXVII, Fokker FXX, Fokker FXXXVI, Fokker CX, Fokker FXXII, Fokker CZIW, Fokker DXXI, Fokker GI, Fokker TV, Fokker SIX, Fokker CIVW, Fokker TV, Fokker DXXIII, Fokker FXXIV, Fokker TIX, Fokker Atlantic Designs, Fokker A2 Ambulance, Fokker A7 Attack, Fokker AO Artillery Observation slash Atlantic Observation, Fokker B8, Fokker C2, Fokker C5. Fokker C7, Fokker C14, Fokker C15, Fokker C16, Fokker C20, Fokker C04, Fokker C04 Mailplane, Fokker C08, Fokker FA, Fokker FLB, Fokker JA, Fokker LB2 Light Bomber, Fokker O27, Fokker PJ, Fokker PW5, Fokker PW6, Fokker PW7, Fokker RA, Fokker T2, Fokker B11 Sport Trainer, Fokker F7, Fokker F10, Fokker F11, Fokker F12, Fokker F13, Fokker F14, Fokker DH4M, Fokker Hall H51, Fokker Universal Airliner and Freighter, Fokker Super Universal Airliner and Freighter, Fokker F32, 1945 a Euro present day, Fokker F24, Fokker F25 Promoter, Fokker S11 Instructor, Fokker S12 Instructor, Fokker S13 Universal Trainer, Fokker S14 McTrainer, Fokker F26 Phantom, Fokker F27 Friendship, Fokker F28 Fellowship, Fokker F29, Fokker 50, Fokker 60 Utility, Fokker 70, Fokker 100, Fokker 120 NG, Fokker 130. References, Notes Bibliography. External links. Fokker Technologies Official Company Website, Pictures of the Fokker Fleet, Wreck of Official Website, Fokker, A Living History, Fokkerpilot.net, Fokker Aircraft Website, The Assembly Hall at Fokker with lots of F-16s, Armistice Terms.